Cause me as a person, I have no red flags. Like. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys should make sure you enjoy it. And also comment and subscribe. Do all that good things. Cause you know it's helping me. And I love you guys so much. Hi, 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 hi guys. Yeah, so we're honestly just going to do, we're doing a life update. I, I don't know if I want to call it a life update, but, or a Q&A. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, to be honest. But a while back, almost like a month ago, I told you guys to ask me questions. And I did the anonymous thing, so like you don't like, because you know on Instagram, like, it kind of shows like, oh, who is asking a question. So I did the anonymous thing, and you know, I got a couple of questions and yeah I'm just going to answer them <laughs> you guys know I'm actually really shy like I'm actually going to answer them now as I'm doing my makeup with you guys so I was like you know why not this is the perfect time to do that um <laughs> like you guys literally last time I did a Q&A it was when I hit 1k and that was like a while ago like a while ago um yeah I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and let's get I'm going to start with like the <laughs> It's just like the basic ask questions for me. I'm going to I'm going to start something like somebody <laughs> first of all I feel like I also have like a lot of new followers or subscribers on YouTube so like if you don't know me my name is Evelyn I create content on YouTube Instagram and TikTok so you guys follow me on there um I'm a uni for business admin yeah, that's honestly like basic things. Let's see, just turned 22. Is that my opposite? Oh, it's a month. Where did time go? So the first question I'm going to be answering is, I would say, I would say I'm a very picky eater, right? It's like, actually no, I'm not going to say that. I would say I judge food by the way they look. So all my life, I always hated like strawberries, right? And when they actually just tried them, and I was like, what? Like, this is actually really nice. Also, all my life, I also had like a weird thing for jam. I'm just like, why are things slimy? Like, I was that girl where like, you guys know Mr. Biggs, right? You guys know they had like jam in their donuts. I was that girl that would eat around it because I was like, what the fuck is inside there? But one day, I actually tried it and it was good. So, I feel like it depends. Like, I don't really think I have a worse meal. As of right now, what I feel like looks really, really ill, not ill, because people eat it it's like oysters i don't know how people eat that i'm like i'm gonna try my best to open up in this video because i'm a little bit shy shy i'm also taking pictures today so like i am doing this so somebody asked me what's my red flags are you talking about me like because me as a person i have no red flags like i'm literally a walking green flag <laughs> like you're kidding um Okay, to be honest, to be honest myself, I would feel I feel like one of my red flags is definitely like not listening. I'm de I'm working on that. Like I've definitely gotten to a point in my life where I start listening. Like I also like I hear what I want to hear. Like if you, me and you are arguing, like I literally just pick out like one or two things. I'm like, oh, you said it, you said that. But these are things I'm working on, so I won't say they are red flags anymore. Um, yeah, those are literally I would say those are my red flags. I literally have no red like there's nothing crazy like you know okay <laughs> okay this is going well this is going well i got this question like a couple of times what inspired you to start your youtube channel i'm gonna blend this out and get back to you guys how am i gonna answer this question i definitely did not have like a knowledge of youtube when i was growing up like i did never had like oh my god like this is what i want to do in my life like youtube i wanted to be a banker you guys like youtube really never came to my mind until i moved here in 2019 and i don't know i fell in love with watching youtube itself like i loved like just watching youtube generally watching people like post themselves like surely challenges because back then what was raining was challenges and like all this other stuff not vlogs so yeah i just really liked it and i was like you know why don't i start one like it's be nice also like look back when we're grown like all of us are just sitting down watching all like all these videos we did when we we're younger so that was kind of like what inspired me to start it basically i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i was just at first i started it for fun i didn't start it for like oh my god this is what i want to do like full time but now that's different but i'm just like okay 
content creating may actually be something I want to do full time if the world permits me or the Lord permits me to do so. Because it, it looks so fun, like people just like making videos, like yeah, that was something I loved. Like instead of me to be doing my schoolwork, I'll be out here watching youtube videos with because my school the school i went to like great lakes we had like um a limit on like the wi-fi we could use so i'll literally finish all my wi-fi watching youtube but yeah when i look back to those videos i made in great lakes sometimes it's like what was i thinking but it's growth it's good to watch back like even though i'll cringe my ass like i'm like times i can't even watch it comes like what was i doing okay next question is what is the inspiration be behind your style? I'm shy. <laughs> hmm. That's a really good question. Because to be completely honest, literally, such a small thing can literally inspire me. Like, I can see somebody on the road and I'll be like, oh, I really like that. Then I'll think about something I also thought about together and I put that together. So that's basically how I do my thing. Like, I don't really have, like, style inspiration. I feel like, like a specific person or a specific brand like it's not like that for me i feel like it's just different things i see on the internet the internet definitely helps pinterest definitely helps like and i've also grown like i know i always my style has definitely evolved to like i feel like i'm kind of streetwear chic i don't know if, if i'm going to like specify my style sometimes i like dressing like oh my god like you know a cute little mini skirt like a crop top but sometimes i want to do like a baggy tee a baggy like baggy shorts like maybe a sign or like a poster and i just like like the color combination they use i think oh my god i have those two colors in my wardrobe like that could actually go you know that's basically what i think about like if i were to name people that i'm inspired by their style i would say um mikai i would say colleen diaz i would say um i don't know tz fits i would say it's ray like so many people so and the reason why those guys are my style because they also kind of do the same thing like i would like to do like you know baggy with like heels yeah and honestly i feel like another thing that has really helped me with my style is thrifting and not like just buying what i see like on like plt it's not like definitely i still shop on those things like but i shop like i shop with i go there for a reason like I don't shop like aimlessly, like I just I don't just be adding stuff to my cart, no. I don't like I feel like that really like clouds my mind and I don't really know how to start what I'm buying. Do you get what I'm saying? So now when I'm buying stuff, I buy with intention. Like if I go to the thrift store, like I'm like, okay, I need this, I need that in my wardrobe. Like and I, yeah, that's that's honestly thrifting will definitely help me find my style, like just me, because whatever you see in the you put together, you know, I like it. It's nice. Like I'm actually enjoying this talking to you guys. Next question. Um, somebody asked, how is it like balancing school con school and content creating together? Right now I'm not in school. It's summer. I decided not to do like spring classes because I remember last year I was doing spring classes and it was, it was literally hell. I did not like it one bit. I think I should. It's at all like one bit. But right, like when in school, like when school starts, like September, how I genuinely balance it is um, I do all my school shit like Monday to Friday for sure. And obviously, you know, in uni, it's not every day you have classes. So there's some days where like you don't have class, like especially when I first started doing those Gary Day unis, I literally be planning my fit throughout like the week. And when it comes to like my free time, I just go ahead and film everything all at once. And that's basically how I balance it. Like, it's definitely not easy because some weeks are different where, like, you have, like, maybe midterms or, like, a lot of assignments to do and, like, I, I just can't create anything that week. And that's fine. But, yeah, that's... I, I don't want to say... It's not... It's definitely not easy, but it's, it's more of, like, a if you want it, you do it type thing. Like, if this is what you want, like, you definitely, like, balance it. And I know it's hard, because a lot of people are different, like, I know there's so many, so many people that, like, would love to create content when they're at school, but when they're at school, like, all they want to do is just, like, school. But that's just not me, like, but I'll do my schoolwork on time, 
and I feel like organization really helped me. Like if I have like an assignment, I don't leave it to the last minute. I never leave it to the last minute because I know that Saturday and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would like to create my content, you know. So throughout the week I do all my assignments, all my discussions, all my all of that. And if I need to meet up with my teachers, I do all of that during the week. So that's honestly how me that's what works for me you guys should let me know how people that are content creators are also go to school let me know how you guys balance it i feel like i really like to know because sometimes there's no in between you know sometimes it's like more of school it's always like that it's always a more of something so as this i'm just going to wait for my concealer to dry a little bit more um i feel like i'm going to left for this one to dry more and i'm going to blend out this one next i hope i'm asking this question as well um yeah like i feel like i just have to get used to this type of videos i'm just used to like vlogging you know what is a habit you want to change hmm. i'll definitely say handling money um <laughs> it's not even funny but um i'm not a kid anymore like i'm literally not 18 anymore but like i will get like you know money like i remember like i used to have this one job like you guys I literally spent all my money just doing nonsense, like buying literally anything I'll see. I don't know. I'll say handling money better, and I feel like I'm working on that. Like I'm, like I'm learning how to save. I'm watching like videos on YouTube, like you know how to do all of that. It's hard. I'm not going to lie. Like try the fact that like I was never really sat down. Like the, nobody really sat me down and be like, okay. This is how you spend your money, is how you do that. I was told don't spend your money recklessly, but once I have that, I had the opportunity to like, you know, here we get our debit cards, we get our credit cards, all of that. So obviously when I was back at home, like back in Lagos, like obviously I will not spend money recklessly because the money I'm getting is just like straight out of my parents' hand and I'm using it for a specific thing. So I never really had the opportunity to like learn how to save when I was younger. And if you did, you're lucky. Because now it's literally like a struggle and I feel like I don't know if you guys can relate, but that's one of my struggles. Definitely spending money, definitely knowing how to save, like, because I can't literally spend all my paycheck. Like, ugh, I remember, ah, remember that year, you guys, like, what? After two weeks, like, I was just waiting for, I was, I was just waiting for the next paycheck to just spend them um, things I'll see and I'll buy. And now, tell me how, why most of the things I bought, I did. I don't even know what it is. I don't, to be honest. So yeah, handling money better is definitely one thing I I would love to change, and I am changing. Like it's not something I'm just sitting down on. I'm just like, oh my god, I would love to change this. Like now that I have started my new job, like once I get my first paycheck, like I'm going to save that shit. I'm also going to. I've been watching videos, you guys. Like there's something called high uh, high yield and savings account. I don't know. There's not just like a normal saving account where you're just going to put your money inside. Like nothing is happening. But this one, like apparently, it be growing and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go to the bank, look more into that, ask them like how that works. And if you guys know how it works, please try to tell me it down in the comments below. Yeah. Somebody asked me what's my biggest insecurity. That's a little too much for the internet, in it. I'm joking um okay let me just like okay i know but like i don't know at the same time i'm learning not to like say bad things to myself that's one thing i would say because i'm learning to love myself more because once i say oh my god i don't like this i don't like this i'll be like projecting and that's not good so now i'm just like i love this i love that you know so i i can't really i don't really want to say like oh my god i have like a specific insecurity no obviously i have things i think about like i overthink about i'm definitely a big overthinker one thing about me <laughs> i overthink everything like you can actually just send me a text and if you're not specific like if you're not specific like to like t i'm just overthinking which is bad but i don't know how to change that only i can change that by not overthinking but like my head goes everywhere like okay where was i i don't remember the question i was answering to be honest um but i was going to move on how do you do with anxiety and intrusive thoughts um i basically just try my best to just chillax like i tell myself like everything is okay like i got so many intrusive thoughts at times where like i'm just like why am i even thinking about this like i've never even gotten to this stage why am i thinking about this but 
yeah i don't i honestly don't know how to answer that question because i don't really i don't know i just cry cry i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely a crier like once i cry things kind of like get back to normal for me and that's such bad advice like but this is not an advice thing this is just me telling you guys how i am so i would be crying like or i'll talk to my friends about it or my mom like i actually don't know what else to say i honestly don't know how do you guys deal with it you know what i, I feel like how i also do with this is going to the gym like i feel like you guys the gym has helped me in so many ways like i did not expect it to help me with like at first honestly i go to the gym to be looking banging like to have a nice body and stuff right but i'm telling you my mind has just like so many things used to like you guys i used to be triggered like i get so triggered so fast so many things used to bother me i used to do all of like i used to do lots of rubbish <laughs> But when I started going to the gym, I started realizing that like I can control certain things. Great. Next question: How is your relationship with God? How is my relationship with God? I would say my relationship with God is growing, is evolving. Um, I am definitely prioritizing that right now. I am. I pray for consistency with him all the time because I'm. I don't want to say I'm that type of person. I fall off a lot. Like I maybe I'll be consistent reading my Bible for like a week, then. The next week i'm off then the next week i'm on you know but i want to stay consistent this needs to dry i'll stay consistent with him so that's his um, my work with god right now is growing definitely i'm learning more about him i'm reading my um daily devotional i'm reading my bible in the night i'm also taking time to pray i also want to implement a lot of things like i want to implement more like just one-on-one -on -one time with him like proper like just like sitting down studying the bible all of that i feel like that's what you guys the internet is actually good for a lot of things so i've been researching like what to say in the morning to him like what to say in the nights like how to deal with certain stuff like good bible verse for like a thing like i'm going through you know so yeah i'm definitely more intentional with my relationship with god i know that this is something i actually want because you guys god is so good like there's so many times where like even when i'm off with the guy i don't know why i just said the guy even when i'm off with him like so many good things happen to me like because i know he's still there for me going to church like I, I i definitely was not that person to like go to church often but grateful for the friends i have too because they make me want to go to church like having people in your corner that believe in the same thing as you do helps with a lot of things hey love your style and also how do you get unrecognized by brands and all hmm i'm shy i'll just say put yourself out there to be honest this is how to get recognized by brands is that you start doing what you see the brand you want to work with like if you like this particular brand go and do your research like think like oh my god what is their vibe what is like what what do they like and do do those things with like maybe different things and they'll honestly reach out to you like i remember um there was this brand i used to like really really love and when they reached out to me i was even so surprised because i'm just like i did not expect that at all and also like as an upcoming like i say micro influencer like i didn't just start getting brand deals from nowhere like, i remember when i was still like on 2k 3k i switch out to a lot of brands like i would literally reach out to you and be like um you know i'm a small influencer looking to like do a little bit of collaboration i did a lot of paid um gifted collaborations when i first when I first started out, because obviously you need to see what you know. And once once you do those gifted collaborations, then you cannot be like, okay, I built a relationship with this brand. I feel like building a relationship is always key. I built a relationship with this brand, and if they don't want to move forward, honestly, it's their loss. I've definitely lost. Like I remember this one brand, like he just they just wanted to give us sending me gifted collabs, and I told them no. I was like, no, I've done this for like over like two years with you guys, like, and I know that more like things I pick and I wear. Like some people, people be asking me about it, and people, some people even get it. I'm using my discount code, so where exactly is it? If it's because I know you have the money, I know you have the money, so why don't you want to pay me? You know what I'm saying? Do like do you keep on doing you, and those brands will definitely recognize you for sure. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'm kind of shy. 
happen how many siblings do you have i have two siblings i have a brother and a sister um yeah nothing crazy but all four years apart um eight years apart from the youngest um where do you where do you actually stay um i quite i live in canada um for school obviously but i really really live in the united states in rhode island with my parents so i go back there for like you stuff okay. so let's rank your love languages what's my love languages again on quality time physical touch then three is act of service then four is what uh, no four is receiving gifts and five is words of affirmation words of affirmations don't do it for me like oh you niggas be lying and i'll be lying okay let me not say that <laughs> yeah words of affirmation is a no no but yeah that's how i would rank my love languages oh, the next question is are you in a relationship no i am not in a relationship currently this is so weird to say i don't know why <laughs> yeah if somebody asked me are you currently seeing somebody no i am not currently seeing anybody i am on my wands what do you think about long distance friendships and relationships? Um, I honestly think if you want it to work, it will work. That's my genuine opinion on that because at the end of the day, people are in relationships that, you know, their partner is literally close to them and, you know, things still occur. So I've seen a lot of successful long distance relationships and they've been going on for years and honestly i wouldn't mind that because sometimes you know maybe you just want your space but i i'm saying that right now but i want to be able to just like maybe like take up uber to you or something oh my god i look crazy if you want to make a long distance relationship or friendship work because lots of long distance friends i have a lot of long distance friendships like most of my friends are not here so I feel like if you want to make it work you make it work but now about it, like me also i'm not like the best communicator so if you know if you want to make it work, it's a work. Somebody asked me, are you the only one that moved or did your other roomies move? Um, everybody moved out. Yeah, me and Juanita moved out of that toxic household. Somebody asked me, how do you take pictures? Tips on how you take pictures. Yeah, tips on how you take pictures. Um, it's the Lord's doing. Because you guys, if you guys see me when I'm taking my pictures, like people that take my pictures are probably tired of me because I am so, so uh, serious. Like... Sometimes I don't even know what to do. I even be asking like people to get my pictures. Like, can you like tell me what to do? But honestly, I just try my best. Oh, okay. I'll say one good tip is definitely find like a mood board before you go out and take your pictures to know what you want. Like, know the vibe. I have like a board. Like, I always have like a Pinterest. I always have a vibe for whichever outfit I am going for. So that's honestly what helps me. Like, so I already know when I'm getting that, you know, get to the location. I know, okay, I'm doing this pose, I'm doing that pose. Easy. And I say, I think I'm not asking questions. There's still a couple of more, couple of more questions, but I think the video is long enough. Maybe I'll do like a part two or something. I don't know. This is basically the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want more of me chatting, talking to you guys, you know, I can make it like a weekly thing, but it's just that there's nothing really going on in my life weekly. Or if I sit down and be like, oh my god, so this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. That would actually be cool. That would be fun. So I actually do. Because I'm basically talking, you guys, talking to you guys like I'm talking on FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I'm feeling the look. It's looking good. It's looking, it's looking spectacular. The pictures are gonna bang. Period. Bye guys, and I'll see you guys in the next. See you guys in the next one. What? Like I ate with this makeup, and the hair, everything is just giving. It's giving like giving grown. Okay, bye guys. For real, for real. And I know these niggas mad. Bitch, I'm in a trap with the.